Trailer Park of Terror. So, Trailer Park of Terror is a 2008 Canadian film which is as classy, is as classy as it sounds. Uh, Trailer Park of Terror was directed by Stephen Goldman. So Trailer Park of Terror is about a group of six troubled, troubled students and their pastor who crash their school bus in the middle of a storm. They seek refuge at a nearby trailer park which is owned and managed by the very, be the very beautiful and the very mysterious Norma. The plot itself is actually very similar to that of 2001 Maniacs Field of Screams. But as the sun sets the, the group realised that this is a very lousy place to have taken refuge as Norma and the undead are very much hungry for human flesh. As the night goes on, the group are picked off in very creative and very gory ways. You have somebody who is deep, who is deep fried. You have somebody who is decapitated for not being able to maintain an erection during sex. You have one girl who's devoured by a gluttonous local. <laughs> one person killed uh, by a not so happy happy ending. And one girl is killed during a, a porno. Now for me the the standout scene in this film would be as the the mad guitar player is about to kill Tiffany, she actually thinks <laughs> she thinks the whole thing's a damn trip. As he's as he's limbering up to kill her, she thinks the trip, she's laughing, even as he actually saws her hand off, Tiffany continues to laugh. It's not until somebody else catches the mad guitar player's attention, he leaves the room, that Tiffany realises that, yeah, sh shit, yeah, shit's just got real. So, the positives from Trailer Park of Terror. In the first five minutes, we are given quite a good backstory into Norma's life in this town before it went wrong. It gives us an insight into Norma's torment and how she could never leave this town. So I think that was very good for for setting the scene. The kills themselves are all very gory. They're all very creative, and it's quite a good use of CGI. I think the antagonists are eccentric. I think they're vile. I think at times, yeah, they are just disgusting. But I think they are they're a good group of antagonists. I mentioned earlier this is similar to. 2000 and Maniacs, sorry, 2001 Maniacs Field of Screams. So if you're comparing side by side, I think 2001 Maniacs did this better. But it's still quite a good group of antagonists. There was a lot of dark humour. Uh, largely this was positive. In a couple of cases it did swing towards negative, but I'll go into that in the next sections. So so a lot of the dark humour was good. It, at times, especially with the uh, with the guitar player, other aspect, and with the uh, the porno filmed by the uh, undead rednecks, the, it, I think this film hit the sweet spot of it was just so bad that it was good. So I think Trailer Park of Terror did that very well. That uh, bad as some of it was, I thought this is this is really good. And you also had a great, I think you had a really good soundtrack. So that was a massive positive for the film. In regards to the negatives, this is not exclusive to this to this film, but very little writing went into any of the characters. It was it didn't look like a lot of effort gone into it. You didn't really find yourself rooting for any of them. In fact, there were one or two that you were very keen to be picked off very quickly and in a very grotesque way. I think there were two scenes that, I mentioned dark humour before, which largely was good, but I think there were two scenes that just went too far for, for the sake of shock value. You had this scene where 
Alex was deep fried. I think this scene was too long. I think the dialogue was, was dragged out and some of it was very unnecessary. And I also think when Norma was telling a ghost story to the group at first, she talked about her mom being shot whilst making a porno. And she simply said that, well, you know, when my mom was shot, I just jumped in and took over. So I didn't, I thought those scenes just went a bit too far for shock value. That's possibly where they got their dark humour, only in my opinion, a little bit wrong. Uh, this is the same as Inbred. This isn't a scary movie. It's, it's dark humour, it's, uh, it's gory, it's entertaining, but it's not a particularly scary movie. I'm putting this as a negative because it may put some people off, but for me I still I still really enjoyed this film. And this is probably an unfair negative, but because the storyline did have parallels with 2001 Maniac's field of screams, I think this was a really good movie, but it just fell slightly short of 2001 Maniac's. So for the score, I've given this film 8 out of 10. I enjoyed it, I enjoyed this movie a lot. It was almost a Rob Zombie style, white trash movie, but it just, it worked for me. We had a good backstory, you know, we had some good kills, and we had at the end redemption for one of the characters. So if you have Amazon Prime, I would 100% say give this movie a go. It's less than one and a half hours, so definitely give it a shot. So guys, as always, thank you so much for listening and I'll be back with another review as soon as I can. Take care.